Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. You already know. I want to give a shout out to Notification Gang and Key Talk Gang, even though they're really the same thing, for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video and hit the bell so you get a notification every time I drop a video. So a Haitian stepper that goes by the name of Tafia, you already know. Pretty much he came out in the of Lil Dirk's twin because he pretty much saw everything that went down and also he knows that the little the fake Lil Dirk, the twin Lil Dirk, the Lil Dirk twin guy, Lil Perkyo, he's actually from Haiti as well. Like I say, he's not from America, so his English wasn't all that good. That's why in the video you heard that person in the background telling him what to say. You already know. Tafia pretty much came out and was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why in the blue hell is y'all picking on that boy? I could have sworn I saw him in a video tell y'all many times, no, 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 I don't want to do it. Young time, I'm using Lil Dirk's image right now, so I don't want to mess up any relationships and bonds, and I don't want to do it. It's just like, it's just like, I don't want to mess up any bond with Dirk and everything. I don't want to trust the world because I know he makes so I can't. I don't want, I don't want to, like, trust it. Yeah, I'm going to trust it. Now you know, the guy that was pretty much trying to get the Lil Dirk twin to go ahead and do the thing with 6 9 is a guy that goes by the name of Steve Will Did It, and pretty much Tafia came out and was like, man, I don't even want to smoke with 6 9 because in this case, he going to do what he do, you know what I'm talking about, he automatically a clown, but when it comes to the Steve Will Do It, he told you no directly, and you still forced Lil Buddy to do it. Y'all dead wrong for that. That jit don't want no problems with nobody, man. I mean, the man got a call from whoever still will do it to come do a video. He ain't say nothing about no 6 9 When he got there, 6 9 want to pop up and do all this. Listen, man, I don't want the pressure with 6 9 That Steve or whoever you is, you getting all the pressure. All of it is on you. You want to, you want to, this kid told you no multiple times. He, he told you he's loyal to Lil Dirk. The kid fresh out the trenches from Haiti. Y'all try to bribe this kid 20 bands. Anyways, Lil Man Doug with the Rax 42 Doug pretty much came out and gave his piece about it as well. And pretty much he said he don't know why in a blue hell people, you know what I'm talking about, they try to put Buddy in that situation. And he goes off on 6 9 His exact words were, <clears throat> I hate when bitch-ass niggas do harm shit to good people. Ran ass nigga involving white boys and street stuff. Niggas be lames and O's. Niggas could have pulled up on so many other niggas. They pull up on a kid with nothing to do with nothing. Anyways, so at this particular time, it looks like a whole lot of people inside of hip hop is not rocking with Steve or do it. Anyways, now the guy that goes by the name Steve will do it pretty much came out and said, man, Lil Dirk fake twin is super cat. I got the proof right here. Now he did show a clip of him pretty much asking Buddy. Like I said, we saw the clip earlier when he was asking Buddy and he kept saying no. And then now he shows a clip, I guess that was before that clip, whenever he, uh, you know, he asked him, hey man, you want to kind of squash the beef with uh with 6 9 as if this nigga is the actual real Dirk. Now a whole lot of people on the internet still don't believe this simply because 6 9 is involved so it does seem like more most people is actually taking a side of a fake little dirt but anyways here goes the clip that steve will post it 6 9 hi i can't tell him about that yeah because yeah. he's here like 6 9 here 6 9 yeah we're here <laughs> i don't know if you like so i don't know maybe you want to like squash the beef he's a nice guy honestly yes. you want to maybe do it i don't know be cool I feel like you guys could be like, in the way, yeah. He's upstairs, like, you guys, I don't know. Squash the beef, that'd be sick. Yeah. Sweet, let's go. Anyways, like I told y'all before and I'll tell y'all again, this is great a marketing that played. Now, I don't know who was all in on this and who all wasn't in on it. Who knows, man? Everybody could have been in on it behind our eyes. Who knows at all? But anyways, I can imagine the marketing team now. Yes, we've done it again. We've pretty much got Lil Dirk in the media and everybody's talking about him. This is going to make his streams go up. And also, we've got the twin Dirk, you know, the little Dirk's twin as well. And you know what? We'll even go ahead and pull in a Steve Will did it with this prank that we're going to do on the whole entire world. Woo-hoo-ha-ha-ha-ha. -ha -ha -ha. 
out. Anyways, let me know something. Do y'all feel like Lil Durk's twin was, you know what I'm talking about, was, was capping and he really tried to, you know what I'm talking about, do the thing with 6ix9ine for some clout? Or do y'all feel like Fetro Kashi 6ix9ine and Steve Will did it pretty much, you know what I'm talking about, completely in the wrong like Tafia was saying? And also, how do y'all feel about, you know what I'm talking about, Tafia stepping up for Buddy and then 42 Doug? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Lil Man Doug with the Rex stepping up for Buddy. Let me know something. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire ordeal. I'm out.